Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and I'm super excited today to be able to talk with you about Giveably. So this is a platform that's being launched by Vertbase. Uh, now, the reason that I'm mentioning this specifically is because number one, they are going to be accepting Digibyte. Super awesome, super cool, but also because the initial user of the platform is going to be one that the Digibyte awareness team have specifically been working with to allow them to accept cryptocurrency. So I'll dial this back a little bit. So it says here, we've been working on a secondary platform true to our core value of giving back to the community. Super cool of Vertbase to be doing this. Absolutely love it. Much respect for them. Now they say here, it is an incredible opportunity to launch Giveably by Vertbase with Humanity Forward and the Digibyte Awareness Team official. Humanity Forward fund a super PAC in the US that supports financial freedom, the blockchain and presidential candidate, Andrew Yang. Um, so Michelle actually goes into this a little bit here. The Digibyte Awareness Team, in collaboration with Vertbase, they're launching a donations fund in a nutshell. So it was interesting because I was talking with a friend of mine about this a couple of days ago, and he sort of said, uh, I like the idea of this, uh, but at the same time, I'm not specifically supportive of 100% of the Andrew Yang policies. Uh, this particular friend was more right-leaning, so that's totally okay. I said to him, look, what we have here is an opportunity to push cryptocurrencies forward. Now, we don't have to agree with them on everything that they say. Uh, I certainly don't. Heck, I'm even in New Zealand. So the policies don't directly affect me regardless. But what we do have is the ability to educate a lot of people about cryptocurrency. Maybe allow them to use it to donate for the first time to a political party. Look, even if you don't agree with 100% of absolutely everything... If you agree with this, I think that's great. And for me, it's great because I can differentiate between the two of them. Um, but in saying that, if this is not your cup of tea, again, no stress whatsoever. This is a fantastic opportunity, like Laura Taylor mentioned, for you to go and seek out your preferred candidate and talk with them about accepting cryptocurrency and use this as an avenue to, to say, look, we've already got somebody else, somebody high profile, another presidential candidate, of the United States who is accepting cryptocurrency. So in that same sort of similar vein, uh, I'm actually in talks with a political party here in New Zealand. Uh, I'm also in talks with another uh, global nonprofit that uh, help out with impoverished nations and things like that. And so there's going to be a lot of different scenarios and uses for this. And I'm super excited for the Giveably platform here. Uh, so going forward a little bit more, uh, they actually they've announced this here. So these are the five cryptocurrencies that they're accepting. So Bitcoin, Litecoin, Digimite, Dogecoin, and Vertcoin. So great to see all of this. Uh, they actually have a release here, which I haven't opened up, but we'll bring it up really quickly because it's a nice little blurb. Uh, so they talk here straight away, the Digibyte Awareness Team. So again, a big thank you to the Digibyte Awareness Team and to Vertbase for this. This is absolutely fantastic. I love it to bits. It's great. Uh, so it says here, they're launching a crypto donation platform with the Super PAC Humanity Forward Fund, uh, which supports Andrew Yang for president in 2020. Vertbase allows you to buy and swap. So they talk about taking the cryptocurrencies. So in Yang's own words, cryptocurrencies and digital assets have quickly grown to represent a large amount of value in economic activity. It's time for the federal government to take clear guidelines as to how cryptocurrencies and digital assets markets will be treated and regulated so the investment can proceed with all relevant information. How great does that sound? So even if you don't directly support Yang and all of his policies, I would encourage you to go and support this avenue of it, be it with a donation to him to say, look, thank you for supporting cryptocurrencies and the likes, or to be able to go to your preferred presidential candidate, talk with them about it and say, look, if Yang can do it, why the hell can't you? Um, so they've also got here, this is the uh, actual donations website. They talk a little bit about it here. They've got a few blurbs, a few photos, and then you can come down the bottom and hit the donate button. Really nice, really straightforward. Now, the really cool thing as well here is that there is certain information that they're required to obtain about you. They don't collect anything superfluous or additional. And as part of this, uh, the whole platform, what they're going to be allowing you to do is to define in certain areas what information you do or do not need to be 
collecting in order to take these kinds of donations. Similar to how when you go to certain websites, like if you're going to go and pay with, you know, a PayPal, for example, the the donation platform will require that you know your name, for example, maybe where, uh, where you're located, that sort of thing. So yeah, look, really cool stuff here from the Digibyte Awareness team, uh, from Andrew Yang, as well as from Vertbase. So big thank you to them. Uh, now, one last thing as well for today, we've got coin rankings here. I have had a bit of a chat with Noah. Uh, offers some really cool insights specifically around uh, some of the development. Uh, now, Noah's actually been coding in Android or with Android, sorry, for like 11 years now, a long time. And it really shows because he's an incredibly skilled developer. He goes in to talk about that and some of that. I'll tell you what, one which quickly will bring this up and I'll show you a little bit about it. He goes in to talk about some of this. Um, he talks about how I code, 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 code. Um, it's actually, it's a really cool talk as well. It's a great read. It's not super long, not highly technical either. So it's great if you're more just interested in a kind of a higher level overview of things. Um, but really fascinating insights there. Big thank you, Noah, for uh, taking the time to talk with CoinRanking about this. Uh, thank you also to CoinRanking for doing this blurb about Digibyte as well. Really appreciate it. And uh, it's a great read. I'll include a link in the description below. That's going to be all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Consider leaving a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ring out in the comments section below. I always hang out down there. Otherwise, you can talk to me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.